All right, welcome. Today, we are stepping right into the operating room for a fascinating contest, a real classic showdown, a high-tech tool versus the surgeon's own two hands. So let's get right into it. So here's the big question we're tackling. When a surgeon is putting a really badly broken ankle back together, is a special, super powerful clamp actually any better than just the simple tactile feel of their own thumb? It's a question that really pits technology against pure technique. And you know what? The answer might just surprise you. But hang on. Before we can get to the main events, we really need to understand the injury we're dealing with here. Because this isn't just any ankle break. We're talking about a very specific and absolutely crucial part of the ankle's whole structure. We're talking about something called the syndesmosis. Now, what is that? Well, it's basically this tough band of ligaments that lashes your two lower leg bones, that's the tibia and the fibula, together, right there at the ankle. The best way to picture it is to think of those bones as two big pillars. The syndesmosis, that's like a steel cable wrapping around them, holding them in perfect alignment, making sure the entire structure is rock solid. And when that connection, that steel cable, is torn during a bad fracture, oh boy, you've got a major problem. Suddenly those pillars are wobbly, they're not aligned anymore. So for the surgeon, getting that spacing exactly right during the repair is everything. I mean, if it's off by even a little bit, it can lead to chronic pain, arthritis, and just a really bad recovery. The stakes are incredibly high. So how do surgeons usually handle this? Well, let's meet our reigning champion, the go-to method used in operating rooms all over the world, the reduction clamp. The idea behind the clamp is pretty straightforward. A surgeon uses this big, powerful tool with these pointed tips to literally squeeze the tibia and fibula back into their perfect anatomical position. For a long time, it's been thought of as the most precise, most stable way to get the job done. But, you know, it's not perfect. It's another big tool you have to have on the tray, and there's always this little risk of squeezing too hard, something surgeons call overcompression. And that brings us to our challenger, a much simpler, more back-to-basics approach that doesn't rely on a fancy tool, but on the surgeon's own skill and, well, their sense of touch. So let's put them side by side. On one hand, you have the clamp. It's all about mechanical force, just squeezing those bones together. The big assumption is that this is more precise, more stable. But on the other side, you've got manual reduction. Here, the surgeon literally uses their thumb to feel and push the fibula right back into its natural groove against the tibia. It's way simpler, sure, but the big question has always been, is it really reliable? Well, you know, in medicine, there's really only one way to settle a debate like this. You've got to put it to the test with a serious scientific study, a proper head-to-head -head clinical trial to see which method really comes out on top. So researchers in Korea set up the perfect experiment. They found 70 patients with this exact type of ankle injury. Then they randomly put them into one of two groups. One group got the clamp fix, the other got the manual hands-on fix. And here's a key detail. The same senior surgeon performed all the operations. That's huge for consistency. Afterwards, they measured everything. They used x-rays to check the anatomical alignment. But just as important, they actually asked the patients how they felt and how their ankle was working. And this, my friends, is where our story takes a really fascinating twist. Because the results from the x-rays, they told one story. But the results from the patients, they told a completely different one. Okay, so let's look at the first piece of evidence. How did the repairs actually look on a medical image? Which method got that picture-perfect alignment we were talking about? On the x-rays, there was a clear winner. If you look at the measurements, the clamp group had a smaller gap between the bones and more overlap. What does that mean in plain English? The clamp produced a tighter fix. It was statistically significant. So based on this evidence alone, you'd probably think, case closed, the clamp is way better. But here's the million dollar question. So the x-ray looked a little bit grittier. Did that tiny difference, we're talking less than a millimeter, actually make any difference in the real world? Did the patients in that tighter clamp group actually recover better? Did they have less pain? And the answer, as this chart just shows so beautifully, was a massive no. What you're looking at here is a functional score for the ankle, where 100 is a perfect outcome. Now look at those numbers. The clamp group scored a 92.8, and the manual, hands-on group, 93.3. They are, for all intents and purposes, exactly the same. It's a statistical tie. So what does this all mean? It means that despite looking tighter on an x-ray, 
The CLAMP method offered absolutely no real-world benefit to the patient. Patients in both groups said they had the same amount of pain, they had the same range of motion, and they got back to work at pretty much the same time. That tighter fix, it just didn't matter. So, the bell has rung. What's the final verdict in this surgical showdown? Let's break down what these really surprising results mean for patients and surgeons moving forward. So, let's recap the scorecard. When the dust settled, the x-rays definitely favored the clamp. It produced a technically tighter result. But, and this is the key, that difference was completely meaningless for the patient's actual recovery. All the things that truly matter, pain, how well you can move, how you function in daily life, were the same for both groups. The simpler, hands-on method performed just as well as the high-tech champion. And hey, don't just take my word for it. The researchers themselves say it best. They concluded, and I'm quoting here, that manual reduction is an effective and reliable method with outcomes similar to those with clamp reduction. The underdog fought the champion to a draw. And it all leaves us with this one big thought-provoking question that goes way beyond just ankle surgery. In our constant search for better outcomes with all this incredible new medical technology, this study is a great reminder to stop and ask, when is simpler actually better? Sometimes the best tool for the job has been right there on our hands all along.